After 21 days of court hearing, the Bombo General Headquarter Court Marsh has finally convicted Private Patrick Okot. Convicts you, Private Okot Patrick Okot, on all those charges. Okot shot and killed 10 people in Bombo indiscriminately on 9th March 2013. Hearing of the case started on 22nd April. Okot was charged of 10 counts of murder, 3 counts of attempted murder, 1 count of aggravated robbery, and one count of abandonment of war material. According to Brigadier Fred Tolit, prosecution testimony proved the murder's true, awful death, death caused with malice forethought, and that the accused participated in the killing. Tolit says the chronology of the occurrence finds Okot guilt of the mass murder that ended lives of innocent people. Okot had been assigned the gun for official duty, which he abandoned for personal interest. The call which a court made from Oyam requesting for money to escape to DR Congo indicates his guiltiness. Testimony from 25 witnesses provides sufficient evidence that the accused had been identified by surviving victims. <laughs> All the cases of court is convicted of attract a death penalty. So each count of murder calls for the sentence of death is that the discretion is with this honorable court. However, the defense counsel headed by Nasa Drago pleaded for a minimum sentence. Your Honor, the convict as a first-time offender, uh, we are praying that this honorable court hands him a lenient sentence. Uh, Your Honor, to give him time to reform. It is at this exact point that nine people were murdered in cold blood right on this second door the memory that still remains in the mind of people here. It is upon the court now to decide on punishment worth the crime. Onyango Jackson, UBC News, Bombo.